What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trotter Brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man around it today, guys. I'm here with Vengeful Warbug. Say hi to the people, man. Yo, what is up, bros and bros? I got a headache, but I'm able to do this shit anyway because that's just how I am, man. I'm a, I'm a monster, bro. Fucking monster. <laughs> so thanks for um, having me here once again, Dr. Blick. It's always an honor and a privilege. Oh, no problem. It's always good to have you on the channel. And um, today we're going to be talking about a topic that Ninja Star suggested me to do with Venge. And this topic is about people dropping One Piece at random points. Obviously, um, One Piece is a long series. There are going to be times where things are boring. There's going to be times where things are not looking the most exciting. So, me and Venge are just going to give our overall thoughts and opinions about people that drop One Piece just at any random points. Um, we're going to start off by talking about it's dropping at like episode 5. And then we're going to work our way to like 500 and just dropping it after dress rolls and stuff. But um, yeah, so Venge, what do you think about people that drop One Piece around episode 5? I only give One Piece 5 episodes, but when it comes to other series, like say for example, Dragon Ball Super, they keep putting at it just so that they can see a series like that to become good because um, they grew up with the series. What's your thoughts about that? Uh, well, first, before I even start talking about that, I'm a little surprised, man. So you're telling me Ninja Star actually suggested this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, that explains every freaking thing. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Um, <laughs> damn. I don't even know where to start. There's so many ways to start with this, but I guess I will go with this one since you mentioned the whole idea about how people would actually give Dragon Ball Super a chance and they would literally watch through all of the BS the Dragon Ball Super gave everybody after like the first couple episodes because the first couple episodes was actually lit but after that it just kind of took a nose dive you know in the in the wrong direction not up but down but anyway that's besides the point and so pretty much here's my thoughts on the whole ordeal when people do something like that Ugh, it, it's kind of hard to judge. Like, when I look at it, it feels like a form of bias. If you can literally sit there and watch a load of BS for over 10 episodes, but you can't even um, tolerate One Piece long enough to actually give a reasonable reason to actually turn it down. You know what I mean? Because, like, with One Piece... Obviously, when you watch it from the beginning, it's a it's a fairly it's a pretty slow start, and they're literally building everything up. I mean, Luffy's literally starting with a small ass rowboat, and he's literally going from rags to not necessarily riches, but from rags to something. And it takes quite a bit of time to actually see the value of One Piece. Especially because of the fact that the pacing can be pretty abysmal at times. And when a series is first starting, usually it's always going to kind of like start off pretty slow. Because they're trying to create that build up. Try to create a meaningful relationship between the viewer and the main protagonist. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that part. Uh, okay. So, when it comes down to my thoughts, like... Um, I can see why people would give of a series like Dragon Ball Super. I'm using this example because this is the only main example I really know of people doing this. I can see why people are doing this because they grew up with the series. It makes sense. You grew up with the series. You know that this series can be good. But with One Piece, you're kind of going it based on other people's opinion. And when you're going into series based on other people's opinion, you still got that iffy doubt in your mind. The hype that people tell you can put you off. And then when you see One Piece, it starts out slow trying to give you that slow build up you're you're fighting people like a pirate clown in episode five you're, you're seeing like a lot of jokes not really action of the intensity that people describe it to be nothing nothing really shocking happen happening it's just all pure comedy elements that is happening at that point of the series so when it comes to people doing that yes it is biased there's no doubt about it, it is biased but it's a bias that is kind of understandable if you were to look at it from a, um, a from a from a, from their standpoint, they're used to the series. They know the series can be good, but it's still biased. Bias is bias. Everyone is biased in some sort of way, 
but um that bias it will have a person that is a fan of one piece really annoyed because you're just sitting there just going okay like why can't you apply this logic into this like this series, you don't know whether it's gonna get better. I'm telling you that One Piece is gonna get better. You know what I mean, Benji? Yeah. So, so it's kind of iffy when you look at it at that point. But um, another thing I like to ask you, Benji, what about those people that actually get to Marine Ford and then just stop because they say they get they got burnt out of One Piece. They can't take it anymore. They're just the plot is boring. They they got burnt out. Um, Fishman Island is too slow. Pre time skip ain't better than time skip, even though they've just barely scraped <laughs> Fishman oh. Island. <laughs> oh, What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, before I answer this yet again, I have to say this. Don't make me look like an asshole like that, bro. <laughs> you said bias. And it, it, you was like taking their side like, bro, you're making me look like an ass. But no, I didn't even really. mean to, bro. <laughs> you, you're not really doing that. But, you know, it's, it's all good. But oh once again it kind of goes back to what you said you know like people's expectation is so different and because of that mass form of diversity you know like they're going to have a little bit more of a how should i say this a more clouded form of judgment because it's like they're basing it off of things that they have seen like for example, you watch Dragon Ball. Uh, you watch tons of Dragon Ball. You watch tons of Naruto, and you look at those two series. When it comes to the action, you know they have a lot of action in it. Not that One Piece doesn't, but there's like a pretty big gap in terms of action sometimes. Uh, especially because of the, some of the things that you know Toei does with the One Piece brand, which is you know music video intros <laughs> uh what else um uh, even to the point recaps. yeah long as recaps bro like damn like by the time it's over that's like almost a good three solid minutes wasted when that could have been used to actually progress the plot even further and because of all of these long gated periods of stagnation you know, that can really set a lot of people off that is more into it for the action. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I totally agree with that. I actually totally agree with that. Like, Toei is partly the reason why people fall off One Piece because, like, there's some arcs that just slow naturally. Like, like Fishman Island, where you're looking at it from, manga, anime, is slow. But with Toei doing the extended music videos, um, these all these extra stuff it makes it even slower than it needs to be if you know what I mean Ben like it makes um, the whole thing slower than it needs to be but um, so so um, do you think it's justified that people drop one piece at, um, <laughs> uh, off the marine food like do you think they're justified to drop it and then keep a series that is garbage and keep going on like what's your thoughts on that uh, once again that's kind of a toughy i guess it's like for me it's like 50 50. because here's the thing when people are so used to something it's really hard for them to kind of like move away to their you know current form of thinking like if they're really into the action aspect of things and they watch another series and it's like not enough action for them it kind of turns them off um, another issue here is how much are they willing to, how much of something it, are they willing to tolerate? But once again, bias can screw that up too. Cause, um, I'm not going to say who said it, but you know, I heard about what was said and somebody mentioned something that they couldn't get into one piece because of the power of friendship. I'm like, <laughs> hold the fudge up. If you look at an a lot of anime across the board, almost every anime has some kind of form of quote unquote, the power of friendship. For example, why you think Goku went Super Saiyan? Power of friendship. Why do you, how do you think Naruto got so strong? The fucking power of friendship. I God, mean, um, damn. I'll 
let me, let me finish this right quick and then okay, I'll stop here. It. Freaking Naruto spent in Shippuden. He spent the entire series chasing after Sasuke. He was the only Nigna out of everyone that still believed in Sasuke despite all of the stupid and mindless and horrible things that Sasuke has done. Now I can understand why Sasuke has done those things. His mind was warped. I mean if you're a child and your life just gets fucked in the ass and out the mouth, I mean of course you're going to act schizo like he was. So I mean for Naruto to literally get become so strong because of his uh the power of friendship, that bond that he didn't want to break. I mean, you can't sit there and say that I can't get into One Piece because of this corny ass power of friendship. And I'm just, just gonna stop it there. I don't wanna go crazy. And shit. <laughs> um, like, I totally agree with everything you're saying. Like, I okay, this is why I feel about the, po the power of friendship. I wanna make this really, really brief, as brief as I can. Um, when it comes to like power of friendship, quote unquote, it kind of what makes the plot together kind of gives people motivation drive to to go on their goal these are the people that are there with them from the very beginning like having friends it helps people be motivated it helps these characters actually want to achieve the goal people that are with them because you're not going to have all these people around you helping you achieve your goal and you don't give a damn about them bryce it doesn't work like that it's just a thing that you would see in animes that are not even that are not even freaking action like Having friends is something that happens in the majority of series. Obviously, like, Shonen do it more than others, but, like, having friends is just something that helps the plot, like, mold in the, the correct way. Even classic shows like Yu Yu Hakusho use that. And then you got, like, stuff like Hunter x Hunter, which uses that as well. Like, Leorio will freaking punch freaking Gon's dad in the face. Because of what? His friend! <laughs> like, all of, all of these stuff are there for a reason like it's what makes the plot together what molds everything together but when it comes to one piece i feel like people sometimes just pick on the series because they just don't want to like it some people go through the series get up to a certain point and still are so close-minded to the to the point that they're not willing to accept um what's in front of them or they just they just want a reason to dislike it you know what i mean they just want a reason to dislike it and that's what they um that's what they do so mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much my standpoint. Ben, you got anything else to add to that? Um, yeah, I do have one more thing to add. Like, and one of the issues that I find with One Piece, if you look at the big three, like One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball, out of all, out of the big three, One Piece is kind of like that one series that's different in terms of their structure. Um, it's like their form of comedy, um, the interaction with other characters and the fact that so many characters has so much to offer across the board like for example one usually when you look at a typical anime once a character some characters you will see for a little while and then when that arc is over you never hear from them again but then when you look at one piece it's like there are characters that just keeps coming back you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's like, even though it's a really strong, it's really strong, it makes the story really strong, basically. It makes the story really strong. However, because of this, like, I guess, like, in depth series, it kind of like makes the series longer than it needs to be. And because, because of the pacing, when you compare it to the other series, I mean, it moves fast. Like Dragon Ball and Naruto, they progress pretty, pretty quickly because they don't have to go ham with flashbacks. They don't have to keep doing, you know, like bringing characters back. They just move forward all the time. If a character's usefulness is done to them, you don't see them again. You know, I'm just going to stop there so this doesn't be a 20 minute video. Okay, yeah, I totally agree with everything you're saying. Everything you're saying is true. But um, I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. 
make sure you check out Vengeful Wilberg's channel because he always helps me with these type of One Piece videos. Originally, I wasn't really planning on doing this. Ninja suggested that I would do this because based on the videos that me and Venge have made in the past about One Piece's popularity and um, how well it does. So, yeah, that's pretty much how this video came about. So, like I said, guys, check out Vengeful Wilberg's channel. will be in the description below. I highly recommend it. And, yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, this UK, Chocolate Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.